Hi, my name is John of JW Miller and welcome back to my channel. And in this week's video, we are going to be making this beautiful straw hat. If you want to see how I made this, keep on watching. Okay, so to start we have we have this neon yellow parasitical straw. We have some grey peach and ribbon. And we also have so you just need some fabrics. I have this um like ombre silk it's just it's just an off cut from a remnant store so i thought i would use this and we're also going to be using some of these let's see if i can get it into a shot some just to give something extra and that that's like it's literally it very simple very easy so for this hat what i'm doing today is we're using the mbb which is just this general flat top brim um crown brock and we're also using this dome top which is mb2 so that's the mbb and the MB2. Okay, so we're just going to join these. So just by putting in, and it pops out the other side. And we'll just tighten that up. And then finally, we're just going to wrap this in some cling film. So we're going to now block it so um, as you can see I have this section here I've put at the top and I've already gone ahead on this side and popped some pins in now this is how I block if you can hear building work in the background I apologize so this is how I block okay so one side I'll put my pins in and then using just a, a rag with some description I just pull it taut around the bottom of the block, just making sure it's pulling tightly. Just make sure it's holding into place around. Nope. You could do this beforehand if you want but I find doing it at this point works for me so that's holding that down now we'll just so that's holding that down and other use for other use for this you could use some elastic um i i just like to use a bit of rag and as because we, we're not using the full length of this block we're only going to use to up to about here because we're going to extend it with some buckram and then taking some pins just some regular dressmaking pins because you've got half of it done already just pull down ever so slightly not too much because you don't want to you don't want to pull holes into the too many holes into the um, straw just pin that into place all the way around thank you very much um, for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe to this channel and while you're there just hit on one of my other videos to help my watch time to be able to monetize this channel thank you very much and let's carry on with this video okay, so now we're going to stiffen this so first of all because we're going to be cutting into this about here and extending it with some buckram i don't want to stiffen all the way down because i want to use the rest of this to make the brim so what i will do is i'll just draw like a rough approximation of where I want the tip 
to be cut. So maybe about here. I'm just gonna I mean that is just approximate. I don't know if you can see that on this camera. It's just an approximate. Because we'll be um we'll be measured it to make sure it's nice and even all the way around when we cut it. Um as you can see I have now laid out my hat on a bit of plastic to just to protect my table. I have my hat stiffener here in a beetroot um jar and what i'm using is this half stiffener from tob and rena so this is and obviously with the hat thinner as well so this is a one-to-one -one on straw i believe i think it's one to three on felt so it's obviously one part stiffener and one part thinner and this is very it's it's it comes with a warning, like, if spraying or using a confined area, a respirator should be worn. Um, so I am doing it in an area and I'm not wearing a respirator, whatever it's called. However, I am going to be immediately, once I've shown you this, putting it outside to dry. So I just wanted to show you. I've got my, this is just like a pastry brush, really. I don't put too much on and all I'm doing is digging into it slightly and just making sure that the whole of it has some sort of stiffener on it. Now if you're ever unsure about colour fastness um, with it leaking the colour or whatever, do a test sample before. Um, I do know that on the bundle that I used in the 80s hats uh, that we did a few weeks ago, this did change the colour of that bundle. It made it a little darker. It, it's not, it wasn't too noticeable, but it did make it ever so slightly darker. So if you're if you don't want your piece to, or if you're unsure, just make sure you do a test piece first before you go ahead and do it all. I'm not too concerned about this changing colour, um, really. So, you know, that's where I'm going ahead with it. What will be, what will be, but if you are trying to colour match and it does go slightly darker or substantially darker, um then that might be an issue for you so now i'm gonna actually put that in a, outside to dry um what i do is i store my pre-made stiffener i don't make much up of it i store my pre-made stiffener in a glass jar and then i actually store it in a bin liner as well as long with the stiffener itself um, because obviously i live in a rented flat i've got to be careful so um, to ensure that it doesn't smell a flower, I just kind of seal it up in several bags and make sure that it's fine. So I'm gonna pop this outside and we'll come back later once this has fully dried. So that tip has now dried and I've taken off the dome tip. So just using uh, the MBB block and I have covered this in some cling film again. And I have some buckram. So this is just enough to, um, cover the edge of this and we're going to make just a bit of a, t um, a side band so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin this into place and then I'm just going to steam this just so it's kind of set along here and leave this to dry and I'm also going to do it so I've got this this is a strip and this is a round Three and a half centimeters width 
and this we're going to block this once we've taken this off we're going to then block this around as well when this one has come off you want to wire it so i have two bits of wire here which is cut just to fit around here one of them is going to sit at the top so we're going to leave this one here with no wire and then the second one is going to be wired onto this so i'm going to steam this i'm going to let it dry i'm going to wire this and then i'm going to come back with the next section we have our buckram drying we've got the tip to one, put to one side now we're going to work on the brim so i am using this brim i don't know what brim it is but i'll put it on the screen now and um it's just a nice it's a double brim oh uh it's a, i don't think it's supposed to be used this way but it's one of these salsa blocks and i'm just using the back because it's, it's got a nice slightly curved brim i don't want anything more than that so pop in our brim on you can see if we push that in you can see now we can use more of the brim more of the uh, parasitical for the brim you see that's why we're doing a slightly buckram and then the rest of the straw on the top so block this like you would anything else so what when it comes to this i prefer to block the outside and then push it on the inside because i know the shape of the brim that i want but i want to make sure i've definitely got enough here so block around here first of all and then we're going to put the brim block and then we're going to put the crown block in the middle so we can actually block up against that as well so we've got like a nice correct shape for the brim while I'm blocking that, I just want to kind of quickly talk to you about Patreon. Patreon is a service where fans and subscribers can connect with creators off places like YouTube, and it just helps fund this channel to enable us to grow and do bigger and better things. I have a tier starting from £1 per month, so make sure you check that out. Everything will be listed in the description box below as well as links to all my social media. Okay, so, so we've pinned along the edge. Some of the pins keep popping up, but we'll just double check that once before we stiffen it. And I've popped my um, crown block in the center. And what I've done is I've just looked at my center front. So that's five and a half, my center back, which is five and a half and each of the sides that's coming in at six and just slightly just over six so they're pretty even what you, what you want to do is without moving your crown block is start smoothing the straw against the crown block just start smoothing it I'm not using any water at the moment I'm not using any steam I'm literally just using my hands to start smoothing that into the crown you can use is just take a length of string i don't actually have any string so i've got yarn and just tie that just to pull it in in the center just making sure it's not catching on just like that so i'm just going to pull on that just making sure it's not catching on anything which because it's not string and it's yarn it is catching but that's fine so i'm just 
going to push that down to the bottom. It's nice and taut now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to steam it. So I'm just going to get a steam iron and a damp um, and a dry towel. I'm just going to steam this and then I'm going to stiffen it just like we did with the tip. And then next time we see me, we will have the brim, we'll have the sideband and we'll have the tip as well. Okay, so now, by now, you should have the following. You've got your paracycle tip. You have the larger of the buckram tips, well, uh, sidebands. You have a smaller sideband. And you also have a brim. So, what you now need to do is this smaller tip, this needs to fit on the inside of the crown. So I'm just gonna pop that in. Just like so. And that's just gonna give you some stability at the crown. Now, when you're sewing this down, just make sure that you sew, say, I don't know, maybe five mil above from, because if you look, so you want to sew five mil into this section here, um, just so that it gives you enough space to put some Petersham round. And with your tip, what you need to do is so this is the wired edge here. You want to sew this edge to this edge, just using, I would sew maybe a half a centimeter up using very, very loose stitches, enough to hold it, but not, in, not strong enough to be able to pull on the straw because you're gonna start distorting the shape. So you wanna sew these all the way around and here and all the way around here first and then move on to the next step. Well, all that hand sewing took me forever. Um, so I'll show you what I've done, where I'm up to. So with the crown, I have sewn the tip to the sideband so, so it's wired at the top. So it's kind of hold, helps hold that shape. Um, and what I've also gone ahead and done is I have put a line in, in it just to cover the black area from, so if you're looking from the inside, you don't see, I mean, you still see the buckram, but it's not as nasty. And then <clears throat> instead of cutting it at the edge, I've just left it and brought it over to the top so then it kind of hides this a little bit because when we put the uh, silk over it, you know, in some areas it, you may, like if there's like a lighter color, you may see the black a little and it just helps cover that. With the brim, so I've gone with the smaller sideband and I have sewn that all around. Um, I've also gone ahead and to put the ribbon in as well, as well as finishing the edge with some sprung wire. So now that's nice and stiff and held in place. So that is exactly what we're looking for. Now we need to attach these to each other. But before we do that, I just want to trim this. So if you look, I don't know if you can see, this is sticking out. So when you actually put the crown onto it, you can still see this black band. So using an old pair of scissors, don't use a good scissors for this. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim that down as we speak. And just trim it to match the rib, just, just, Either the ribbon or your um, 
straw. I think I'm going with the ribbon then, uh, with the straw, so then the ribbon will definitely uh, cover up anything. Perfect. There we go. So just oh, add that to my trash pile. So now when you look inside the hat, you actually see, you don't see the buckram, you just see the ribbon. Perfect. Now we're going to attach this and it's really simple. So you need to find your center front and center back. So this is my center back and this is my center back here. And I'm just gonna pop that on turn it upside down and just, you have to be a little bit forceful with it. It's, so I'm just gonna, oh my God, come on. It's because of all the wire. I wanted this to have structure. I didn't want this to be like soft and pliable. I wanted it to be like a structure. So I'm just gonna just push that in. Perfect. Try not to, just want to make sure that's all lined up. Center back, make sure that is correct. Perfect. So now I'm just going to go around and sew the crown to the brim, <laughs> I forgot what this was then, and just doing it just here so you can hide your stitches with the ribbon and then we're going to start draping, which I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna quickly do that and with the power of editing in three, two, one, and there we have our hat all sewn together, um, looking rather nice. I do say so myself. So we're coming up to the best bit now. So I was playing around with this last night. I was like, and I wasn't really sure because the thing is, I until, only until recently, as you probably for long term viewers of this channel, I don't necessarily go out for the expensive stuff. You know, I try and keep costs down to a minimum on this channel. So, when I saw this in the fabric store, it was literally like $8 for, I think it's 80 centimeters. So it's not very wide. Like, for this and <clears throat> so I was like perfect this would go really nice with this color um, what am I going to do with it because I don't really have much experience working with silk forgive me if I butcher this however I was looking at the edges and I'm thinking how on earth am I supposed to bind these edges I mean this is going to take hours and hours and hours and hours of hand sewing just to get a nice hem on the edge of this. Because I want to use, I don't want to cut into it, I'm going to use the full piece. So I was sat around thinking and I was like, hmm, what am I going to do? So I have come up with this plan and I'm going to share that with you right now. Ow, where's that pin gone? Oh, but it stabs me in like 20 minutes. Okay, so because the ombre goes top to bottom, it would make sense to kind of play around with draping, but I'm not gonna do that. What I am going to do, um, because obviously on a bias it stretches, 
not too much, but you know, I'm not going to stretch it, stretch it out. But because there is a stretch on the bias, that will give like a nice gradient effect. Mm. So, this is what I was playing around with last night, and there was no edging. There's, you don't have to edge any of this. Um, so take one corner and just put a couple of stitches in. That's it. Then we're going to tack it to the side. Just like so. Just like so. And then, so I'm leaving, I'm leaving the needle in. And then, I'm just going to go around and tuck in this top. So this is the raw edge here. I'm just going to just tuck that in and just start draping that edge along. Just along the top, so it hides this raw edge. So I'm just gonna just keep going. Right, so now I'm at the front, so I'm gonna pop a pin here. I know it's a big pin, but I just want you to see what I'm doing. Right, so that's going to hold that into place. <coughs> so you can see what I'm doing there, hopefully. Now you can also see that you can still see some of your stitching. So that's not a problem because we're then going to take the rest of this. So we'll start again. So where is, where can you start seeing this? So you can start seeing the stitch in here. And we're just going to take the next bit. And we're just going to kind of go around and do the same again. Because we don't have to hide the, uh, the a raw edge, so I'm just going to keep pulling this. I'm just going to kind of start manipulating that fabric, just to <clears throat> position it where we want. It to go. So I'm going to just keep going because there's a bit more stitch work here. Another raw edge here, so I'm just going to just encase that on, in on itself. Ooh, that's looking a lot better. Okay. Let's have a look. Mm, it's still showing a lot of white here, so I'm just going to bring out some of that darker colour there we go perfect and then as I get to the end what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna pull it tight against the crown and took that away. So that is the back there. I'm just gonna tuck that raw edge under. I'm gonna take this thread and I'm just gonna tack it down with very tiny stitches in certain places 
just to hold that fabric into place. So I'm just gonna do that now and then I'll be back with you. And then finally, we have something like this. And she's neon. I really like this. Shame it doesn't fit me though. This is 22 and a half and my head is way bigger than that. Like way bigger. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something from this. If you want to see more millinery basics more like traditional not usually what i make on this channel type hats then let me know in the comments down below as always all my social media is listed in the description box below along with material all the materials that are used to make this hat, apart from the silk because there was only that bit left so you can't get that however all the other materials will be listed there with my social media and a link to my patreon as well Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next week. And until then, see you later. Bye.